So as you may have heard, Retro Pi 4.4 is released. Uh, some more support on the brand new Raspberry Pi B Plus. Um, this is gonna work on the stretch as well. I do wanna do some tests in this video that I'll get into later, but just really quick, let's look at some of the updates. Um, looks like there's gonna be some added basic support for the Asus Tinker board. What I'm gonna say about that is there's already some other Facebook groups working on this. And the Tinker Board will rock your socks off with performance once this is set up. I just don't think they're quite there yet. So those of you that are early adopters, you might want to start getting into the game. But I still think we have a couple months before we see some fully built out and that Tinker Board community really going going big. Um, RetroArch updated to 1.7.1. Good to see. ScumVM updated version 2.2. So a lot of just updates to different emulators from DOSBox to ScumVM. So that's good to see. I think the biggest thing here is just the support with Stretch. Um, and then there's some hints here of like future support, for example, with that Tinker board. So some really exciting things there. Emulation station improvements. Um, so there's some emu the UPN64 and N64 emulator fixes. Those will be interesting. We can, you know, play some of those games a little later. Probably not in this video, but check those out. See, if, you know, what games exactly that is going to affect, um, and some little things here like support to Quake Two uh, mission packs. Now, what I really want to do with this video is a lot of you have pre-built images, and you might want to update them to 4.4. Um, RetroPie is recommending that you have a fresh image to get this update. So if you can do it, do it. Uh, as far as updating images, my question is, can you take a Raspberry Pi 4.3 and then update it to 4.4 stretch, and then will it work on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus? Now, the first question is, can you take an image that's a 4.3 image? For example, I took the video I just recently made, and I was able to update it to 4.4, no problem, and everything still ran. But when I put it in the uh, Raspberry Pi 1.4, it did not work. And that might be kind of like when you do a Pi 0, you can't necessarily go then, to, you get, if you do a Pi 3 image, you can't then go to a Pi 0. So what I do want to try out next is, can you take a stock 4.4 starting from scratch, put it in the old Pi, and then also then go put it in the new Pi. So start it in the 1.2 gigahertz, boot it up, add some games, and then boot it up in the Raspberry Pi B Plus 1.4. So that's what I want to find out in this video. All right, so in this video, we have the VLC's 200 gigabyte arcade image. Uh, if you've missed it, I did a review on this earlier. And uh, it's not running the brand new Raspberry Pi, so it only works for your Raspberry Pi 1.2 gigahertz. But I'm gonna go ahead and try updating it. Now, a lot of warning was done on this new RetroPie update, whether or not updating would, would mess up your image or not. Now, I have this image backed up on my computer already, so I don't have to worry about corrupting it or anything like that. What I do is I do have my Raspberry Pi connected to the internet through Ethernet. If you don't have Ethernet, you wanna go ahead and set up your Wi-Fi in the previous screen, go down to Wi-Fi and set that up. But here I am, I'm on the internet, I'm in RetroPie. As you see, I'm on 4.3.16. I wanna go up to 4.4. Go ahead and update your script. Would you like to update the script? Yes. Go ahead and click this. It'll just go and fetch the updated script and then you should be back at that previous screen. And then you just wanna do a basic install at the top. And then this is gonna take about four to five minutes, uh, maybe longer if you're on an older version. And uh, I'm just gonna speed all this up. And then when it was all done, I was on 4.4 and I had no issues whatsoever. However, it is only gonna work on the Raspberry Pi B, not the B plus only on the 1.2 gigahertz. Now I wanna try it where what if I load up the stock RetroPie build uh, from 4.4 to start? Can I, can I go ahead and make it backwards and forwards compatible? All right, here we are, first boot on a brand new clean image of RetroPie 4.4. Should boot up with the carbon theme. All right, and all you have is RetroPie. Let's go ahead and just install like a uh, an add-on here. All right, let's try this, this little Sonic game. Let's go ahead and get this Sonic game installed. All right, cool. We now have ports, and we now have Sonic Robo Blast 2. All right, let's shut down and try it in the B+. All right, this is a good sign. Nice. 
All right, that's good to see. So if you start with a 4.4 image and you build it with the 1.2 gigahertz Pi, you should still be able to use it with the 1.4 gigahertz Pi because they're both on the stretch. There you have it. But what I found is if you do have a 1.2 gigahertz Pi with a RetroPie version 4.3 or older, not 4.4, you will not be able to use it on the stretch. There might be a way to update it later, but it's just not a straight update. So what we did find out though, is if you start with a 4.4 and you build it with a Pi 3 1.2 gigahertz, you will now be able to use it with the 1.4 as well. So before, it was 1.4 could go to 1.2 no problem on 4.3. Um, that's still the case with 4.4, so that's still possible. But now with 4.4, if you have a 1.2 and you build it with the Raspberry Pi B3 1.2, you will then be able, and it has 4.4 on it to start, you can now use that in your when you upgrade or if you give it to a friend or whatever. It should work on both Pi 3s now if you're starting with version 4.4. Okay, let me know if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.